Hello everyone, it's Peter from Project Peter. I'm bringing you a video today of my bookshelf tour, as you can see behind me. Let's do a little panorama. Ooh. So basically I just wanted to talk about all the books that I do have. Maybe some that are missing, why I have them, maybe even some of the stories behind how I got them. I do a lot of op shopping, thrifting, I think it's called in America. Um, so, you know, not all my books are brand new. Um, so get used to seeing some damage, as you can see this one here right behind me. It's not good. Anyway, let's get on with the book tour. I'm going to start here on this shelf. This is a variety of different favorite books that I've had since I was very young. Um, and ones that I've collected over the years that really are special to me. I do not keep every book that I read. However, there are some that are just very special. So these two here, The Christmas Box and Time Piece, were given to me by my nephew. They're very special books. Um, Charlotte's Web is the book that made me love reading. Like, it's, um, it's seen better days. But this is the copy that made me love reading, so I'm a keeping it. Um, Wings of the Storm, The Queen and I have read them a few times. Plain Beady Bow, I read that in high school, loved it. Little Women, how can you go past a classic? And my mum used to laminate them for me. Not laminate them, sorry, cover them. Don't know if you can see that. Um, with clear contact to protect them because I read them so much I would wreck them. Uh, same with Never Ending Story. God, I really gave that one some hell before she um she contacted that one. Lots of water damage. These books have seen better days. As you can see, it's also contacted. But you know what? I kind of like it. I like that it's had a bit of hell. Witch of Willow Hall, brilliant. Angela's Ashes, cried my eyes out like a sook. Swear on this life. Now this one here, as you can see, I got I get a lot of my books at library sales. We we have a filler box for five dollars, so I like to save money. You know, you know. So I got Swear in This Life by Renee Carlino. I'm not really big into the whole, you know, romance genre, but this, mm, I cried a lot. Now Jojo Moyes, I have some other of her books, but this last letter from your lover was really really special i really enjoyed reading this one the book thief oh my god what can i say about the book thief i got it for four bucks at lifeline like who would send that to lifeline it's the most amazing book ever time traveler's wife i have no idea where i got that from let's have a look inside oh god someone's done there equations in there some of these i get from um we have a book exchange in the town over from us so i'll take books in and i will swap them for other ones the autumn castle by kim wilkins she's an australian author award-winning australian author this book i love because the girl in it actually has a chronic illness and i also have a chronic illness so a lot of the things she talks about when it comes to like her pain and stuff i can really understand um cloud street oh cloud street my god definitely a modern australian classic like if you're not from australia originally and you really want a glance into what australia was like in the 1950s ish i think pretty sure it was like um like depression era oh god read cloud street fault in our stars was great memoirs of a geisha was great the joy of luck club look at this old girl she was two bucks she's she's coming apart but the smell of this book oh my yes i'm a creepy book sniff i get used to it you're gonna hear it a lot interview with the vampire this is not actually the original copy that I read in high school. Um, someone has laminated it, though. So, who knows? Maybe it was mine originally. I did get this from Big B's Books, which is in Burley Heads. It was $8. Big shout out to Big B's Books. I love them. Um, I'll see if I can link them in the description so people can go and check them out. 
Um, my next shelf here is my Marion Keys shelf. As we all know, I love Marion Keys. I pretty much have all of her books. I think I'm missing a couple, but the first one I read was Watermelon. This is the one that made me fall in love with Marion Keys. And then the latest one I've read is, of course, Grown Ups, which I have done a bit of a review on for you guys. I do have one in my TBR pile, uh, The Mystery of Mercy Close. So we'll be getting to that one later. Now, down here, right at the bottom here, is all the books that I have been given that I have not read and I have not categorized is maybe the book the book the word that i'm looking for so there are a few in there that i'm very interested in reading but a couple that i'm not really 100 percent sure yet so i've just sat them down here for now and then we'll get to category categorizing them later now oh, let's let's pan out here for this oh my look at that beautifulness my lord now if anybody knows me they know i love twilight like i know i'm not a 15 year old girl i'm well aware of this okay i'm nearly 40 but twilight has held a special place in my heart since i read it full obsessed borrowed them from a friend couldn't help myself had to buy them this one here the official illustrated guide she is a hardcover and she is heavy i got this at the book exchange i'm pretty sure and it is like the pages are almost like laminated it is amazing got some excellent excellent information in there about different characters that you don't see in the movie or in the books and it also has an interview in the front with Stephanie Meyer talking about some other characters in the book as well. So it's a very, very interesting read. Um, I have one of the graphic novels, Life and Death I Loved. As you can see, I'm a spine cracker. Don't kill me. Um, the Host, oh goodness, now. Paid a fair bit for this one. As you can see, it's quite damaged. I paid 40 cents for this at a Lifeline store at the coast. She's looking a bit worse for wear, so I will keep my eye out for a better copy. However, this one will do for now. My little um, apple that I leave there because, you know, Twilight, apple, apple. Okay, then we come to my Shadow Hunter shelf. Now, everyone knows I love the Shadow Hunters. I'm like full obsessed with anything Cassie Clare. Love all of them. However, I'm not real fanatic about the whole all your books have to be the same height crap. So um, I did get the Shadowhunters Codex. Actually, I did get that at Big B's Books again. Big shout out to Big B's. And I also got Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy from Big B's, which I just finished reading the other day. Now, these ones here, in this little group here, there that's only four out of the six that I need for the Mortal Instruments series. So I still have a few more of them to hunt down. I do have the full Clockwork um, series, the Infernal Devices. I only got Clockwork prints the other day, so I'm very happy about that. I have all three of the Dark Artifices, Chain of Gold. Now, I've got some exciting stuff happening with Chain of Iron, which is getting released on the 2nd of March. So keep an eye out for a video on that one, people. And, of course, we have our Eldest Curses. There's still one more to get in that, which hasn't been released yet. Okay, next shelf. Now, what can I say about these? These two, this car of the Mark Duology, I am seriously obsessed with. I loved the Divergent series that Veronica Roth wrote. However, the last two books, eh. But this car of the Mark series, this duology is phenomenal. As you can see, $3. God. Me a cheap book, and of course, again, the fates divide. Big B's books, God love Big B's. Snapshot that if you want to know their phone number. Um, I could not find that book anywhere, and Big B's had it, so thank you. Um, Divergent series plus four. I love the Fallen series, Rapture was my favorite, that was the last one. Absolutely love that series. 
love Holly Black, Folk of the Air Trilogy, these three. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Love them. Tithe, not as much. I did like it. Don't get me wrong. Did like it. Um, but I did like the Folk of the Air series better. Uh, Becca Fitzpatrick. Now, I have read Silence. Silence fits in here, I think, which I borrowed from a friend. So I'm still waiting to find that one on the cheap. As you can see, again, these books aren't in real great condition. But I don't care as long as I can read them. Hunger Games Trilogy. Loved it. Um, this Endless series, yeah, not so much. They were okay. I'll hold on to them for now. Slip it on the lino. Loved this one. This is by Jane Grieve. Now, Jane Grieve is a lady, an author, who lives only one town away from me. So when I got this at the library sale, I actually was shocked because it is a signed copy. And I actually inboxed her on Facebook and said, is this legit? And she said, it sure is. So I was very excited about that. Somewhere Around the Corner by Jackie French. Very good book. Uh, more probably aimed at a younger audience than me. However, I really did enjoy that read. Night World, LJ Smith. I think LJ Smith wrote Vampire Diaries, if I remember correctly. I didn't mind this. Wasn't my favourite. I'm going to hold on to it for a bit because I've got another one in the, that, that series to read yet, so I'm going to judge that later. The Anti-Cool Girl by Rosie Waterland. Now, I read this at the start of the year. Not really sure whether I'd like it or not. I got it free um, from a friend. It is absolutely hilarious. Rosie Waterland is a journalist and she is a funny, funny bitch. You've got to read this book. If you want a good view at an Aussie chick who's hilarious, you've got to read this book. Great. Now, this little fellow, 1984 by George Orwell. I actually bought this brand new, which is pretty unheard of for me because I hate buying books brand new because I'm a tight ass. But I've been wanting to read this for so long and I was a little disappointed, I have to be honest. It is pretty full on. I'm going to read it again, however, just in case. Maybe I'd misjudged it. We'll see. Um, now, we have something in Australia, in Queensland specifically, that I know of called Bookfest. And it is a festival where you go and you buy secondhand books. It's a lifeline run affair. So you go there and there is it's, it's a massive shed and is loaded with hundreds and hundreds and thousands of books. So I go there and I get heaps of books really, really cheap, like from 50 cents to $3 per book. So I got all these Charlene Harris books, which is the, the True Blood series, and this Stephen King book, Lisa's Story. So I haven't finished collecting this series yet. I do have other ones on my list in my bullet journal that I do have to get. So we'll get to that. And the Stephen King one, I haven't read a single Stephen King book. So I grabbed one, but I haven't really got into it yet. So we'll just have to wait and see for that one. All right. Now I have my cute little, here's my little French bulldog. Let me grab him. My cute little French bulldog cup with all of my beautiful, beautiful bookmarks in it. This is so gorgeous. Look at that. Lotus. I love it. And then of course I have my Red Girls of Magic one that I actually got with the book. Oh, and of course, again, big bees. There's some details there if you guys need to contact them. They are wonderful. Can't fault them at all. And they do trade-ins as well, which is awesome. All right. Now, down here, these books here, let me just get down here on the floor. All of these up to Mystery of Mercy Close are on my TBR pile, which I may do a separate video on yet. But a lot of these, as you can see, I got in the library sale. And a couple of them, these two here, are going to be rereads for me. So I have read these two before. However, I would like to read them again. And, of course, we have the short second life of Bree Tanner, which is part of the Twilight series. And then over here we have... These are all my other little extras that I have gotten from, you know, book exchanges, from Bookfest... Um, there's another one of those Night World ones. Oh, this little off-the-shelf one. This is a funny little one. It's a little poetry book. And I got this in the library sale. And I had to laugh when I opened it because I always look for things written inside of books. 
and it's called Off the Shelf. And someone has commented and written, Off the Shelf should be put back on the shelf. <laughs> Clearly not a fan of it. However, I will give it a crack. Um, I've got some good classics in there, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice, um, lots of interesting ones I haven't read before, lots of good fantasies. And then over here we have a few, I think it starts here, maybe it starts here. These are all parts of a series, so I haven't quite completed these series yet. This one here, this Cinder, oh, I can't wait to get this series. I have heard so many good things about Lunar Chronicles. But I don't want to start it until I can find the other books because, like I said, I'm a tight ass. I don't want to buy them. I've heard so many good things about Sarah J Maas. Oh, I'm just not even going to start on that. Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Now, I have not heard good things about this. I got this for $2 at Vinnie's. Um, apparently, don't hold me to this. I'd like anyone to comment if they can change my mind on this but a lot of people have told me that this book is actually not translated that well so if anyone has read the girl with the dragon tattoo please feel free to write in the comments whether i should bother reading it or not and of course we have the lorian legacies which i only have the four of so i will finish collecting those before i start then now the rest of my bookshelves what have i got up here oh this is on my this is on my little pretties so you know, there's stories behind all of these personal stories, which I'll share another time, but they're very special to me. Um, uh, I'm a crocheter. This is my little key ring crochet emergency kit. <laughs> my little tin box. I know I use this headlamp to read at night sometimes. I know that's weird. People tell me I'm weird. I can deal with it. Okay. Now this is my collection of bullet journals in regular journals plus I found this at Lifeline the other day for two bucks how to be an explorer in the world by Carrie Smith this is the lady that does the wreck this journal so this has actually not even been written in brand new I'm gonna put that there and deal with that later now we have the marked series by PC and Kristen cast I liked it I don't know if I'd read it again. I do enjoy reading vampire stories. However, it is a long series. I've only read seven of the books and there's even more still to come and it is a bit repetitive. So I don't know if I'm gonna read any more of those ones. Um, Heartstopper series. Um, let's talk about that. This is pretty um, out there. Heartstopper. This is a story about two boys who fall in love. It's a graphic novel. Um, it has little mini comics in it. I absolutely loved it. Let's see if we can just get a little, a little bit of a flick through so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about here. Uh, my daughter Cadence loves it. Um, I do like a good graphic novel. So I bought all three. She's read them a couple of times. I've read them only once. Okay. Now we're going to get down to some extras here. These five books here are books of cadences that she hasn't quite gotten old enough to read yet, so I'm holding on to them for her. However, I have heard this curious incident of the dog in the night time is really, really good, so I might get to reading that. I've got two Georgia R. Martin books. Not sure if I'm going to read that series or not. Um, this little beauty in the centre here, The Dreamer, is actually written by my dad. So he's a poet. Big shout out to my dad. I love him to bits. There are not many of these books left, and I have one, so it takes pride of place on my bookshelf. Um, if anyone would like more information on that one, leave some info down in the comments, and maybe I can do a video on it. Let's go further down. All right, here we go. My next shelf. This is the second last shelf. Uh, we've got some Robin Hobb books. I'm not sure if this is a complete series. I think there's one more to go in that series, but I got that at the library sale. I also have The Vampire Academy. Not 100% if that's all the books either. I think it might be because I did have to buy, I think it was Frostbite. It was missing from the series. And I got those from, I want to say the book exchange. I think it was the book exchange. Yeah. So I will get into those ones because I do like vampire novels um, a lot. 
Now down here, I have my walkie mask. God, I love me a walkie mask. Have you guys seen one of these before? God, I can't even get it to work. My sister Debbie bought that for me for my birthday one year. God love her. These are all books that I've read before that I have no intention of keeping. I'm not going to read them again. Doesn't mean I didn't like them. I did like them, but some of them I just, you know, I don't think I'm going to read again. So I've just set them down here for now because if I have a friend come over and they want a book, I'm happy to hand them out um, or I'll take them to the book exchange and exchange them for any other books that I like. I hope you guys enjoyed that little tour of my bookshelf. Um, I'm sure there'll be lots more books that I'll be adding to that in the future. And, of course, I do have some other bo books in my office that aren't fiction books. They're more like, you know, reference books and things like that. So we might get to that another day. But that's my bookshelf. Um, if you have any questions on any of the books, please leave a comment below. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.